I want to give a big shout out to the homie Sasuke. He has trained so hard so that he can transcend into other animes. The man went from Naruto straight into Dragon Ball Super. Yeah, how to get the man props for that. So anyway, on to the review of Dragon Ball Super episode 60. Five, six, one out of those two, Lego. Before I get into Sasuke Shippuden Ball Z, trade man, I want to talk about the strength of Goku, Vegeta and Trunks for a bit. We know that Vegeta is the strongest right now. Not that far ahead of Goku but he has the lead at the moment but some people saying that Trunks stronger than Goku and Vegeta just from the feats that he accomplished in previous episodes and this episode as well he got the Kai's attention who were there on the battlefield saying that his strength is amazing or it rising or something so they was praising the man and then there was the other time when in this same episode that his garlic gun was clashing with Zamasu's fireball jutsu and it wasn't pushing him back but you could say that they were evenly matched for a bit also anytime trunks transforms into this new state you get the place shaking and lightning and all these antics and whatnot so that means he have to be stronger right right no 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 the transformation new right and this same thing happened to Goku when he transformed for the first time it had the lightning and the white eyes and, the, uh, uh, and shit like that there is not full control taking place when Trunks transform yes the form real strong because he have the god key you could see the shit but but it's still not tamed it's still not refined like Goku and Vegeta's version of the blue but I showed some training go past them in no time but anyway, let's keep it moving. So we have our new god, god version Zamas with a big ass halo on his back looking fresh as fuck. And the animations for Zamas looking so good, so crisp, so nice. Even his posture completely changed. He was more like, you know, a disciplined guy with the hands behind his back. The only fighting he's like, you know, have a nice little stance. So he went from refined slash discipline to look at me. I'm a god now. And he has three attacks, and these are the names I gave them. I can't remember the names from the episode. If you want to see the names yourself, go and watch the episode your damn self. So we have the Chidori, nice little lightning attack. Then we have the fire style fireball jutsu. You know, real good, real good. Then we have the Light Force Sword, you know, throwing some Yu-Gi-Oh in the mix too. So Goku and Vegeta having a really hard time trying to get to Zamas right now. But their teamwork is impeccable from their Kamehameha slash garlic gun blast attack versus the fire style. Even though they were being pushed back, it looks so good, so good. And from even when they both flew together trying to burst through Zamas' Susano. Oh, I didn't mention Susano in the mix too. But they penetrated that nigga and it was real sick. So the Saiyan homies took their Super Saiyan Blue power to the max just so they could get to Zamas. But their efforts were blown away. Zamas looks pretty untouchable right now. This nigga blocked two of them like, like the time where Goku and Vegeta were training with Wiz. And Wiz just was like, bam, okay, time to stop guys. Just like that. But it was Wiz. Zamas like hold their hands and just started sending his Chidori into their hands. To me, it looked like all the bones in their hands were broken. But I don't think that was the case. So the heroes are down and Trunks comes in to help the situation and he does not waste time. He transforms immediately. He is going in on Zamas, deflecting the light force swords with his sword. Cool. Like a boss. Also, I have to add, I said this before, I did not like future Trunks. Not from Dragon Ball Z. But this Trunks, I like him. Five stars. So Zamas gives him a fire style and Trunks charges a garlic gun to combat that shit. I swear this man does always show up at the right time. That is why I like him so much. Yes, uncle. But because he is always there. He does shit. He is the man who is by the hero's time. Now for my favorite moment of the episode. Trunks is working extremely hard trying to keep Zamas fire style at bay. But then Vegeta, good old Vegeta, comes in and gives his boy a hand. Father, son, garlic gun. Who would ever thought the day would have come? He was pushing Trunks to give his all. And yes, Goku did this previously with his son Gohan 
versus Cell. Also in the second coming, Broly movie with Goten in the mix as well. But, but, Goku's character is the same thing from back in Z and Dragon Ball and whatnot. Goku hasn't really changed much. And I do not mind that at all. Goku's fine, but I love how the creators are giving Vegeta much more development. More things to add to his characteristics. Showing more of his human side. You know, he used to fight for the Saiyan pride, but no, he have the Saiyan pride, but he's a family man. Fighting to protect the ones he love. You know, doing the good guy shit. And all these new things added to him makes him a better person than his previous counterparts. So I'm watching the clash and I'm thinking to myself, Hey, that's pretty good. And then they actually push Zamas back. Fuck yeah. But Zamas is pissed. He's not damaged or anything, he's just pissed. And he fires back at Chidori, back at Trunks, and Papa Vegeta, father of the air, jumps in and takes the hit. Fuck yeah. So Zamas pulls out his fire style again. This this man real killing this move right now. Like he over he over killing this shit. And Goku is back. And now Goku charges up his Kamehameha to combat the fire style. And it seems like Goku's pushing him back. And as the explosion happens, you guessed it, the episode ended. So now we have to wait until next week. But we all saw the preview. We know what's coming next week. Vegito. So we will wait for that fire, for that flame. So for now, we we'll end this shit right here. This is Lee from Double K TV signing out.